Inequality is a huge problem in the UK. It's been rising since the 1970s. We are at a maximum now. We have the highest rate of income inequality in, in the whole of Europe, but we have many other inequalities that are staggering. Uh, my book looks at inequalities in housing, inequalities in health, uh, falling life expectancy. It looks at different politics, alternatives, how the country could change in the next 100 years and how we might look back on now and be staggered by just how bad things are. <laughs> the, key, the key thing that drives inequality is the same old thing, which is greed. Uh, inequality is always driven by greed. Some people are greedier than others. Different countries control inequality by how they control the greedy. Most countries in Europe, in fact, or every other country in Europe, is better at controlling greedy people than we are in Britain. The first crisis we're going to see is health. Uh, so the health crisis began in 2010 to 11. David Cameron had an index of happiness. That index actually showed that people were getting iller and iller. For four years they said they are getting iller and iller. We didn't believe them. They started to die in greater numbers, particularly the elderly, the frail, people with Alzheimer's, but now infants are dying in greater numbers. Life expectancy peaked in 2014. Immediate emergency funding for the health crisis because it really is a crisis. Uh, bringing taxation on wealth, annual taxation on wealth, forget inheritance tax, and particularly on the value of housing because we are going to have to raise money urgently and quickly and lastly look at our education and stop calling the most expensive part privilege because it is so incredibly inefficient <laughs>